Hey guys, Mohan Pobera here and today I'm going to show you how to financially analyze a company that you're looking to buy. And yeah, remember this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. Like this video, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like those videos, hate those videos, hate me, like me, it's all good. Just comment below, let me know what, what you think. And see in the description below, I just created a new survey where you basically let me know the exact biggest question that you have. And it just, as you can see, I'm pretty much starting to upload daily videos and I need some more ideas. So see the description below, um, basically go into the survey, put your details, put your biggest question and I'll create a personalized video just for you. So make sure you ask me the biggest question that you have, uh, see the description below. Um, and yeah, join our Facebook mastermind. We created a business buying mastermind. It's free to join. You just need to click in the description below and let me know just a few basic questions to make sure that you're serious and not going to spam the, the group and all that. But yeah, make sure you do it right now. So let's get to it. And remember, before we begin to look at how we look at the numbers and all that, um, I'm, I'm assuming that you talk to business owners, you get some financials, you now basically look at the numbers and you're thinking, OK, what do I do with those numbers? What do I do next? Right. So I'm assuming you're already talking to business owners, getting financials and you're not looking uh, you basically have numbers to work with that that's the i guess the main idea here and also to remind you even if i'm getting financials of different businesses i wouldn't start analyzing those numbers unless i know for sure that this owner is motivated to sell the business i don't want to waste my time or my accountants or cfo time remember this this is going to take you um, especially if you're doing it for the first time and you don't have CFO or accountant doing it for you, it's going to take you some time to read through numbers, balance sheet, PLs, all that. If you don't have experience, it's going to take you a lot of time. So make sure that you're spending that time on a business that is actually with a business owner that is actually motivated to sell. And remember, I'm I'm not an accountant. I do know basic financials, but. That's why I want to keep things as simple as possible for you. So even if you have no experience at all, you can look at this video and get a sense for how much you can basically um, offer on a business and how much you can raise. And for that, remember, you need few key things. You need the latest financials of a business. Remember that you always need the latest financials. So if you're getting numbers from 2010 and you're looking to buy the business now in 2018, um, no financial institutions will help you raise that capital based on numbers for a few years ago. You see what I mean? And even if it's one year ago, make sure they're as updated as possible, especially with the balance sheet. Make sure you're asking for the latest balance sheet. So if now we're in a specific month, you want the balance sheet from last month. You want the updated, most updated financials. Obviously the PL, you want the most updated ones as well. So remember that because I know people that work with me in the past, they gave me numbers from 2000 and whatever, and there's no way that I'll even spend a minute on those numbers because no one will look at them and I can't really value a business based on old numbers. Now, another thing to really emphasize is at the same time that you're looking um, to get financials from business owners, you want to start building relationships with financial institutions. And yet, yeah, uh, get in touch in the description below if you want to be involved with my deals, my partners, and basically get access to all of our contacts. We already have contacts with pretty much any financial institution you want, uh, especially in the UK and US, but also in Canada and Australia. And we're now trying to expand to other countries. So get in touch if you want to be involved as my partner and basically do deals with me, watch my back, and then we can share equity. I'm, I'm opening that opportunity for a few people. So if you're serious, I'm talking really serious about this space of buying businesses, you can do that with me and save a lot of time because we already have the contacts with financial institutions. But either way, if you want to do it on your own, like I said, get the numbers and then at the same time, build relationships with financial institutions because you eventually want to send them the financials to figure out how much you can raise on a business and based on that, make your offers on those businesses that you're looking at. So after we assumed all that, um, you have uh, ideally potential financial institutions, you have the numbers, what do you do now? Um, so you can do those anal uh, anal analysis, analysis or whatever the word is yourself, right? Or you want an accountant, ideally someone who will work for you for success fees. Or again, if you want to work with us, we have an amazing, brilliant CFO. And if you want us to do all the numbers work for you, um, again, get in touch below and there's options for us to work together. But either way, you ideally, at, at least initially, if you have some basic understanding, you can do those things on your own. Uh, but moving forward, especially during due diligence, you got to have 
legit accountants and, and lawyers and consultants and all that, of course, but with the number stuff, you gotta have legit accountants to make sure you're doing your due diligence right. Otherwise, if you're missing, messing up this space of numbers, I mean, you can pretty much waste your time, destroy the business, or just buy a shitty business and you won't make any money. You just wasted a lot of time and potentially you have lots of risks and liabilities as well. So make sure that, especially later down the road, you have the right team involved. Um, initially, when you're just making offers, I guess you can do it on your own. To begin with the analysis, remember, the biggest things we want to look at when we get in financials is first of all, how much can we pay at closing? This is the first goal basically when getting financials and talk to financial institutions is how much we can pay at closing to the business. And the second thing is, is does the business can basically cover the debt service from the loans that we're taking? And should it be within one year, two years, or how many years should we spread the payments so the business cash flow can cover the debt that we raise? So I hope that makes sense, right? That's the goal in looking at financials and just doing leverage buyouts in general. How much can we pay at closing? Uh, and how much can the business serve year by year uh, the debt that we raised. You know what, I'll, I'll probably cut this video right now. Um, I'll continue with the second part in, in the next video. So we'll get really in dive into details into what to do after we have all those fundamentals, we have the right mindset, what to do next. Um, we'll dive into it in the next video. So yeah, like this video if you like this type of content and let me know in the comments below what kind of things you want me to talk in the second part. So let me know right now in the comments below.